Hey everyone, Deja Vu again with another video on how to use IRC in combination with Twitch. And this time I will show you how to add moderator functionality to your IRC client, such as modding, unmodding, timing people out, banning, unbanning, etc. So all the stuff that you normally do in the Twitch browser chat, uh, you can do that uh, from your IRC client, but it requires some modification. Just like the previous uh, video on the events and coloring, I will be using two IRC clients. On the left side, I have Hexchat, and I'm logged in as Dizabot, but I have joined the Dizavu channel. And on the right side, I have Ychat. Over here, I'm logged in as Dizavu, and I have joined the Dizavu channel. By default, most IRC clients, including Hexchat and Ychat, they come with a few moderator buttons that you can see here at the bottom right. You enable those by going view and then user list buttons. So if I toggle that on and off, you can see them here at the bottom right. Same here, user list buttons. The problem, however, is that the default buttons or the default commands that come with your, your IRC client they do not work for Twitch. For instance, if I select these up button here and I would like to kick him, bye bye. Uh, nothing happens. Well, I'm also not a moderator here, but if I switch to this window here, it says kick unknown command. And one other thing to note is that normally if you want to issue a command in IRC, you start a command by a forward slash. So if you want, for instance, to join a channel, if you want to uh, kick someone, it would be kick, etc, uh, etc. Et but for Twitch, if you want to issue a specific Twitch command, you have to start that command with a dot rather than a forward slash. So for instance, if I would want to mod someone, I would write mod and then the name of the user I would like to mod. So for instance, this would mod these are bot, but I need to do this in the other window. My bad. So I'm just going to copy paste this. So mod these are bot. If I now hit enter, as you can see at the bottom right, I now get a message from YChat saying you have added these are bot as a moderator. And if you give it some time, you can now see these are bot is a moderator in the channel. There was a message here that uh, these are bot has been giving uh, operator status. And if you knew all the specific Twitch commands by heart, you could do everything just by typing them out. But we're now going to have a look at how to create buttons for them, which makes moderating your channel a lot easier. Let me first unmod the Dizabot. Unmod, there we go. Now, in Hackshot, go to Settings, User List Buttons. This pops out the window. As you can see, it has op, de op, ban, etc. So those are the buttons over here. Now, if you use IRC for other servers, so not only Twitch, you probably want to keep the ones that are already there. But if you're only using IRC for Twitch, then you can simply modify the ones that are there. And we'll start with modding and unmodding. So op, de op. As you can see, just like with the color and the text events, there's things here that start with a percentage sign. And percentage A means all selected users. And there's another one here that says percentage S, and that means the selected user. So this is only one user. This is all the percentage A is all the selected users. There's a list of these codes on the hackschat.readthedocs.org. So as you can see, percentage A, all selected nicks, and over here, percentage S, selected nickname. Another important one that we'll need is percentage C, which means the current channel. And we will use that to send messages to the current channel. So let's now try and figure out how to do that. Like I said, start with the op. I'm going to remove the op, and I'm going to send a message to the current channel, percent C. And the message is going to be a dot mod, then percent %A or percent %S. I'm going to pick percent %S here. So this is going to mod the selected user. 
Now we'll just save this. Now, these are bought which is the user I'm logged in with, is not a moderator in this channel. So I need to switch to the Deezer bot channel in which I am a moderator. And over here, I'm just going to join the same channel. Join Deezer bot, like so. It will take a few seconds to for that user to appear in the channel. So now that there are viewers in the channel, he's not a moderator. And I can now issue the mod command and that should make this of your moderator you added this of you as moderator it says here in the JTV channel it takes a few seconds sometimes up to a minute for that action to actually appear in IRC uh, IRC is a, a bit slower than what you would have in the browser and as you can see, this of you is now a moderator here. And just to be clear, it's not the moderating that takes time. It's the fact that loading or reloading the user list is done uh, with certain intervals. I think like every 30 seconds or maybe every minute, something like that. Now that we managed to issue a mod command from within IRC, it is just a matter of figuring out what other specific Twitch commands are available to us. And here is an easy way to do that. You go to your channel on twitch.tv and then in the browser address bar, you add the following ampersand chat underscore debug equals true. If you then hit enter, it's now just gonna reload. But you should now see debug messaging in the uh, browser chat. And that will include any commands that you issue. For instance, if I now go to the user list, over here I'm logged in as Deja Vu, but Deja Bot is in the channel as well because he's connected via IRC. So if I would select this user, I now have a bunch of uh, commands that I can issue on the selected user. So for instance, I can purge his messages, which basically does a one second timeout. So if I click that, what I see here is the command that was executed, which is a forward slash timeout, then the username, and then followed by a space and followed by a one. The one meaning one second. So what I can now do is simply copy this part, go into IRC, settings, user list buttons. I'm going to change the ban into a purge paste it here and start it with the same thing I use here basically namely this okay so MSG message the channel timeout the user for one second just remember that for the server to recognize the command, it has to start with a dot rather than a forward slash. So it's dot timeout, followed by the username, and the username is presented by percentage s, followed by the one. Save this. Okay, I'm now going to quickly switch to the browser. I'm in these are bots channel, but Logged in as Deja Vu. I'm going to say something. Okay. And now Deja Bot is angry at me. And he's going to purge me. So I'm going to select Deja Vu. Hit purge. You don't see purges, by the way, or timeouts in IRC. But you do see them in the, the browser. And it says here, Deja Vu has been timed out. So the purge did work. Again, if I look over here, the purge appears to not have happened, but it actually has, except that you don't see them in IRC. Okay, so far so good. We now have a few specific Twitch commands that work. There is a special one that says here, permit. And as you can see in the tooltip, it starts with an exclamation mark. So it says exclamation permit. And if I click that, 
here is the message that was sent. Where is it? It's over here. And then this is what was sent to the server. So basically, instead of a slash command, it starts with an exclamation mark. And that's because it's a bot command rather than a specific Twitch command. So let's now go ahead and add that to IRC. So go user list buttons. I have already added it, by the way. So over here, you can see it says permit message to channel exclamation mark permit percentage S. Let's click on save. Now quickly test this out. So hit the permit button on Deja Vu. And as you can see in both chat clients, you can now see Deja Vu has been granted permission to post a link. Now, rather than going through all the available Twitch commands, here is a list of what I currently have in YChat with a few specific ones like timeout for five minutes is the normal timeout, but you add the number of seconds that you want to time the user out. In this case, 300 seconds is five minutes. Then we have the sub uh, mode. So put the chat in subscriber mode, which means only subscribers and mods uh, will be able to talk. And you do that by sending the message dot subscribers to the channel. And to switch it back off, you send the message subscribers off. Then to put the chat in slow mode, you send the message dot slow followed by how slow you want it to be. In this case, it's uh, 30 seconds. And then to turn it back off, it's dot slow off. Moving on, in an RC client, you can also right click on a user and then issue certain commands. By default, these are operator actions, like, and they are the same ones that we previously had in the buttons, like give ops, take ops, voice, kick, ban, etc. And you can modify that and add your own. If I have a look over here in YChat, the ones that I added under Twitch actions are permit, clear the strikes, etc. Add uh, the user to the regular list, which is a bot command, mod, unmod, purge. So those are the same ones that I have in the buttons. Let's open up the settings for that. It's the user list pop-up, pop -up. sorry, oops. Open that up. There's a whole list of actions already there or commands. And let me see, okay, I added a submenu. That's the first thing you need to do is add a submenu. It's already there. So you do that by adding a new, replacing this with sub, then giving it a name, like Twitch Actions, like that. And that's how you create a new submenu. I'm gonna delete that, okay. Because I already have it. And you ended with a sub as well, I think. End sub over here. There it is. So, and in between the sub and the end sub, that's where you add your actions. As you can see, I already have the mod and unmod actions there. And the commands for that are the exact same as what we used for the buttons. So I'm not going to repeat all those. So basically, you can now add the timeout and the ban, unban, purge, the sub, the slow, uh, whatever you want. But what I am going to show you is a few specific ones. And that is how to open a browser window. Because if I switch, hold on, I'm going to save this. If I switch back to the browser chat, there is three options here that says channel, profile, and message. And if you have a look at the uh, status bar at the bottom of the browser, this points to twitch.tv slash dizabot. This points to dizabot slash profile. And this points to message slash compose 
and then two with the name of the user you want to send a message to. And we're going to add all three of them to IRC. We're going to start with uh, this one, the channel. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to copy, select copy link address like that. Now in IRC, I go back to settings, user list pop out. Make this a bit bigger so you see what I'm doing. Under the mod, I'm going to add a new and I'm going to call this SEP, which means separator, with uh, no command issued to it. Then I'm going to move this up and move it under, sorry, under the unmod. And now I'm going to add another one and I'm going to call this channel. And to open a browser window from within IRC, all you need to do is type URL followed by the URL you want to open. But in this case, we want it to be dynamic. So djbot will be the name of the selected user, which is represented by percentage s. And let's go ahead and do the same for the other two. So profile, copy link address, go back to hex chat. Add new, call this profile, URL, followed by the URL, and then we need to replace these are bot with percentage S, like that. Then add new, this will be a message, copy link address, paste, I'll call this message so URL make it a bit bigger and again replace the name with percent s hit enter now move all these up to where they need to be just bigger even so just below the separator scroll down move this up and the last one so I now have the channel the profile and the message um, just below the separator click on save if I now right click on deja vu select Twitch actions, as you can see, the three new entries are there. So channel, let's see if we can visit his channel. There we go, it opens in your default browser. I'm going to close this. I'm going to check his profile. Deja vu. There we go. And now I want to send a message. Oops. And of course it asked me to log in because I wasn't logged in yet. But if I would log in, it would then take me to the Twitch messaging page with the name of the user already filled in. Also note that the right click menu works both in the user list as within the chat window. So if I right click on a user, I get those same actions. If I switch to YChat, I get the same ones that I have over here in the user list. Okay, so to round this up, let me show you the right click menu that I'm currently using in YChat. So you can have a look at what I have. It starts over here with sub and it ends over here with end sub. So I hope you enjoyed this video, find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, below the video. But for now, thanks for watching and until next time.